The Queen, who died peacefully aged 96 at Balmoral on Thursday, was known for her love of the breed of dog. She owned more than 30 corgis and dorgies, a corgi cross dachshund, during her 70-year reign. Kay Hogg, secretary of the Welsh Corgi League Scottish sector, said the corgi community was left devastated by the Queen's death. Ms Hogg said, We are very, very sad. Everywhere the Queen went there were always corgis. She grew up with corgis and everybody associated corgis with the Queen. We feel as though, although there is a corgi league and a society, we've actually lost part of our world. She did so much for the breed, always had corgis by her side all her life. Ms Hodd described corgis as small dogs with big personalities. She added, they are little characters, they like to play, and they are energetic, feisty little dogs. The Queen's love of the breed was celebrated during the Platinum Jubilee earlier this year with a gathering of corgis at Balmoral. More than 70 Cardigan Welsh and Pembroke Welsh corgis came together on the lawn at the Royal Residence in the Scottish Highlands in an event organised by the Corgi Society of Scotland and the UK Corgi Club. A corgi derby also took place at Musselburgh Racecourse in East Lothian. The trophy was won by Georgie, whose owner Alison Rumbles said it now feels even more special to have taken part in the event. She said, I'm just glad we decided to do it, it was so much fun and I just hope that the Queen watched it and laughed and laughed at the silliness of it all. It's just so sad that she has died. She was hugely admired and respected, just a wonderful, wonderful woman. We probably would never have got a corgi had it not been for her and her love of the dogs. Most of the Queen's corgis were descended from her first, Susan, who was gifted to her on her 18th birthday in 1944. The Monarch, who also loved horses, looked after her own dogs as much as possible and enjoyed walking them. Writing in the Telegraph of the Monarch's loyalty to the corgi breed, royal author Penny Junor said, the Queen's entry into a room would often be heralded by a pack of these energetic little dogs. At times, she had up to ten of them and they went everywhere with her, traveling by train, plane and car. At weekends, the Queen would often pack them into an estate car and drive them herself from London to Windsor Castle. They would jump from seat to seat, barking at dogs they saw out of the windows. Meanwhile, royal expert Ingrid Seward previously told Newsweek, she loves animals and she absolutely adores dogs. She always has done, they were her first love and they will be her last. At the time of her death, the Queen had two corgis called Newick and Sandy and a dorgie called Candy. Related articles Queen happier and healthier in Balmoral with corgi walks and picnics Prince Harry looks distraught in new pictures as he returns to Windsor best trained king in waiting. Charles III's long path to the throne Queen's coffin is placed in ballroom where she danced as a girl BBC's Witchell notes Charles confused over steps upon palace return.